Hello everyone and welcome back. And we are just gonna continue straight away. We're talking to Emma. See what Waifu has to say here. I've been waiting for you. Any progress? Yes. I found some answers. The source of the dragon rot is the stagnation in your blood. What causes the stagnation? The blood has only a limited amount of power available to it. Let's say you've used all of this power and then you attempt to resurrect again. The resurrection still occurs, but it must draw on power from another source. From those that have the dragon rod? I believe so. For those who have the dragon rod, the natural life force that everyone has, that allows them to live their lives and function as human beings, has been taken from them. Their blood has stagnated. Can it be cured? Yes. By giving back what has been taken. Here you are. Oh, so that's why it didn't work earlier when I tried. I must do what must be done. Mm -hmm. That is what the Divine Air said. He must be hiding something. I see. Uh, what is it? Lord Takeru spoke of beheading in his memoirs. Yes. Perhaps the act of beheading was the means to end immortality, along with the life of the Divine Heir. What? If you walk the path of immortal severance, then you must use the mortal blade to... End my lord's life. Yes. Lord Kuro desires immortal severance. I understand that. I do. And yet, Master Wolf, might there be a path where Lord Kuro need not lose his life? The dragon's heritage is no ordinary power. There could be such a path. Well then, Master Wolf, I ask that you help me find such a path. A path where Lord Kuro need not die. I will not let my lord die. Thank you. We must find a starting point. Yes. <sighs> oh, yes. Lady Tomoy's. Master Wolf, I might have a place to start. I'll look into it and let you know as soon as I find something. Thank you. Also, we may want to... Keep this from the Divine Heir. Yes. Master Wolf, I might all look into it. Thank you. Also, keep the yes. Mm, yeah, let's see here. Here. Oh. <laughs> Something wrong? Well, let me try it. Oh, it it burns so bad. Let's see. Yes. Monkeys. I seem to have a strong connection with monkeys. You do? Yes. I was rescued by a monkey after all. <sighs> when I was young, I stood alone in the aftermath of a battlefield. I was alone and staring, dumbfounded. <sighs> I could do nothing, neither cry nor even get angry. Complete shock. And then there was a monkey eating a rice ball. A monkey? Maybe an ape? Maybe. Either way, he made it look so delicious. I remember being angry at that. But then, then he gave me the rice ball. It tasted so good. What a kind monkey. <laughs> yes. He was a very kind monkey. That, I believe, is the sculptor. Here, for you. Oh, if this isn't, I'll have some. <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> Please, <laughs> say something. There is something I'd like to ask you. 
Of course. Who trained you to fight with a blade? A blade? I am a doctor. Yes, but who? Uh, Lord Ishin. <sighs> but I only have a passing interest. I do not believe your skill counts as a mere passing interest. Why did you learn? Well, not to kill people. What do you mean? No, I don't have the slightest desire to kill anyone. It's just, I would want to kill a demon if one were to appear. A demon? <laughs> Don't take me seriously. It was only a joke. So that is actually, that is in fact what's going to happen if you choose the Shura ending. Basically Shura means you go, well you don't go crazy but you're infested with anger and want to kill everything just for the sake of killing. That is a path you could, if you chose to stay by your master before with Ao, that is your Shura ending. You basically, you fight Emma straight away. And as she said there, she only wants to fight a demon. And that is because when you go Shura, you become a wild, wild beast. Or in fact, the demon. You kill Emma, after which you kill Ishin, and then... Oh, the first you have to fight Emma, then you kill her, then you have to fight Ishin as a second boss. You kill him, and then in the cutscene, right when... Owl is talking about how they together as father and son are supposed to you, like, rule the universe and whatever. You kill him as well. And then the cutscene cuts out and explains that there was a large war and millions of people died until it finally settled down. And I believe in that ending you end up as the sculptor. In the end. Really final end after you've gone crazy. Kind of the sculptor. If you don't know the sculptor also went crazy with Shura and killed a bunch of people. But you will kinda find that out later. Let's give her the Ashina Sake as well. I brought Sake. Oh my, that is generous of you. I, I accept. As a doctor, I do have other uses for Sake beyond just drinking. For purification? Yes. It can also help with those that when I was a child. You've been doing medical work? Yes. I wanted to be of use to my mentor. I used to compete with my fellow disciples. In those days, arrow and sword wounds were frightfully common. I see. Oh. What's wrong? It's... sometimes... Shinobi would come for treatment as well. There was once... a rather difficult patient. Difficult in what way? Well, he said very little. I didn't know where he was hurt or how much pain he was in. I had no information to go on. It was maddening. I see. None of this sounds familiar to you? What? No, nothing. Nothing at all. There was a dragon rot epidemic in Ashina once before. Back then, a cure was not achieved. Every single person who caught it died. I see. It is my hope that finally discovering the cure has alleviated this regret. If only a little. Lord Kuro is bound to be the divine heir of the dragon's heritage for eternity. My wish is that he could be freed of this burden and pursue a normal life. That is all I pray for. Lord Kuro bound to be the... So it does all good and well. Let's go down here. Just want to rest up real quick. First we need the idol, of course, but also... And here we have the Dragon Rod Restoration. Just want to do a rest to make sure that everything is reset. That all dialogue options are good. Wolf. I am relieved to see that you are safe. And Owl? I killed him. I am sorry. Lord Kuro. I am sorry. I did what had to be done. Wolf, thank you. My father, this was in his possession. 
this branch. It's from the Ever Blossom tree? I see. So Al had it. Yes, we are a step closer to the Fountainhead incense. Yes. Yes, that's right, Wolf. My lord, I have procured the ingredients for the aroma. Oh, so that is the stone for the Fountainhead incense? What a peculiar shape it is. Yes. It had been made into some sort of shrine. So it was just as Lord Takeru wrote. Yes. There was also an inscription, a sweetly scented bridal offering, written on the altar. Bridal? Hmm. What sort of place was this? It was in a cave, beyond a door made of solid rock. Hmm. In that case, where was the wedding procession headed? No way to know, I guess. Sweetly scented. Hmm? Lord Kuro, that place might be the gateway to the Divine Realm. Hmm, I see. Sweetly scented. Meaning, wrapped in the Fountainhead incense. That is what it might be referring to. Wolf, we've finally done it. Once we make the Fountainhead incense, you can infuse your clothes with the aroma. Now. Place all of the ingredients in the incense burner. As you wish. Before we do that, I just need to make sure of something. He's so strong. I wish I was. Have to make sure I get that. Uh, what's it even called? Uh, Small sentence out of Lord Kuro. My lord. Wolf, the mortal blade. <clears throat> Fear not. I will only make a shallow cut. Would you draw the mortal blade from its sheath? Yes, my lord. Forgive me, but close your eyes. Yes, my lord. Over now, Wolf. How is the wound? I'm fine. I just made a small cut on my chest. Hmm. So this is the Fountainhead Incense. It's so extraordinarily nostalgic. I see. Well, do you notice anything different? The aroma and Fountainhead Palace. Those words have been burned into my mind. Fountainhead Palace. It's just as Lord Takeru wrote. That place must lead to the Divine Realm. But how can the Fountainhead Palace be reached? A sweetly scented bridal offering that was written on the altar where the fragrant stone was placed. Yes. You now carry the aroma of the Fountainhead Incense. I believe the path leading to the Fountainhead Palace will open before you if you go to the shrine within the cave. Immortality shall soon be severed. I'm counting on you, Wolf. As you wish. That was easy. But I do like... Oh, I should probably say I find it quite weird that he cut his chest. Wouldn't it... Like, it just needed a little bit of blood. Wouldn't it be easier to just cut a hand or a forearm or something? Chess seems a little bit extreme and kind of reckless. Wolf, I need you to bring dragon tears from the divine realm. Yes. You must first go to the depths of the cave where you found the fragrant stone. You now carry the scent of the fountainhead incense. I believe the path... As you wish. I understand, Master. Let's go here. we we'll stop a bit. So, just to make sure, speak to you again. I hope you. Oh, my lord. Ah. Huh. Sweet rice ball. That's nice. Dragon tea. I will obtain them. Yes. Wolf, I need yes. you. Now I believe. As you wish. All right. 
How about this? That seems like it's too late. Let's go up here. Talk to Emma. Master Wife back here. Somewhere is not. Purification. Yes. There is a way to cut the ties of the dragon's blood and transform its owner into a regular human being. The process requires a flower from the Everblossom, as I told you once before. The Everblossom is a Sakura tree that Lord Takeru brought here from the Divine Realm. However, someone cut a branch from the tree and stole the flowers and the Everblossom eventually dried and withered away. So the Everblossom tree has been entirely lost. If the tree itself no longer exists, the flowers don't exist either. Correct. But the branch that was stolen did have flowers on it. So if it could be found... Is this the branch from the Everblossom tree? It was in my father's possession. Master Owl. But there are no flowers on this branch. Hmm. What's wrong? It's nothing. I was just trying to remember back to when the Everblossom still flourished. But try as I might, the memory is hazy. Ugh. They're graves. What? I think I'll pay a visit to Lord Takeru and Lady Tomoe's graves. That's where the Everblossom once grew. Something might the purification all visit may help me. By the way. Oh, whoops. The pure all visit may help. By the way, if we are to how would the mortal blade be used? Now that you mention it, that part wasn't very clear. I'll see what I can find. Lord crowned to be the devil. All right. And now this is purely going to be like an episode of talking. But 17 minutes. And we are not even close to done yet. Let's see here, I need to go here. We are gonna go to the graves and talk to Lady Emma. Again, then we will go back to the sculptor. And then maybe in this episode we will go to the Divine Realm. Maybe. Well, let's see here, and this is the graves, where we have been a couple of times now. Oh. Oh. Why must that be the only way? Hello? Uh, Master Wolf, how long have you been there? Have you remembered anything? Oh. Nothing, I'm afraid. Nothing? That's right, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to remember anything significant. Hmm. Perhaps one of my old friends can help. I'll meet with Orangutan at his temple. Orangutan? Yes. It's the sculptor's old nickname. That's the name. It wasn't Monkey or Abe, it was Orangutan. I couldn't remember for the life of me. Back then, Lord Genichiro and I would come here. Lord Takeru would play the flute, and Lady Tomoe would dance under the Ever Blossom. It was a wonderful sight. Perhaps one of my old I'll speak with a And now everyone went crazy and tried to kill us all. Back then, Lord Genichiro and Alright. And now do make sure that you have exhausted all of the uh, dialogue options up until this point throughout the game. It is incredibly, incredibly important. In order to get this ending. Hmm. Emma should be here. She is. Good. Now we're gonna sneak back here again, like we did earlier. 
There should be another eavesdrop. There is. And this is important. You need to get this in order to get this ending. This is basically how you get it. I can't honestly say. To achieve their goal of immortal suffering, either he or Lord Kuro must die. Why does that have to be the only way? So will you keep that from them? But Orenda if I give this to him, he's going to die. So yeah, that is basically this ending. You're sacrificing yourself for Lord Kuro. And now to confront Emma about this information. Ah, oh, you're here, Master Wolf. Was the sculptor able to help? Unfortunately, no. I'm afraid we'll need to look for other clues. One of us must die. <sighs> what did that mean? Were you listening this whole time? Tell me. Uh, I saw it that day beneath the branches of the Everblossom tree. Lady Tomoe tried to commit suicide. Why? She said those made immortal by the oath of the dragon's heritage shackle their masters. So in order for the purification to occur, the oath bound of the dragon's heritage must die? Yes, precisely. But she was unable to achieve the purification. Correct. She did not have the mortal blade. Mm. I don't want to lose Lord Kuro or you, but all paths are leading to dead ends. <laughs> Quite literally. What are you hiding? Uh, so you overheard. Tell me. <sighs> Do what must be done. I will live by those words, as my master does. Here. Father spell charm. Very important to get this also. Basically, I, I don't think there's any way not to get this. Is this a bell? It fell off Owl's dead body, if I'm not mistaken. You and Master Owl have a deep connection. Should you offer it to Buddha, it may be a different experience than the one you had before. I will try it. I am not sure what memories you will see, but the bell belonged to Master Owl. So please, take care. Master, yes. I pray for your victory. Thank you. Goodbye, Master. All right. A true would choose for himself how to look. Let's go. I'm no. See if there's any upgrades available. We got this. Do we have enough for this? We do. Purple flame spark. Yes. We need a thousand. God, we are poor. Scum. What? Final tier is now unlocked. And now the last light shuriken is fine. Basically, there is a limited amount of the blue material that you're going to see on the left side of the required materials list. Don't know if there's two or three in a single playthrough. I think there's I actually think there's only two. Is there three? There might be. But basically you have to choose between I think that you can only get one in a single playthrough of the final upgrades. really something that tells me that at some point one of these are going to be incredibly important just can't remember yes. but doesn't matter 
I think we should offer the bell to Buddha. Let's try again. See what happens. This is exactly what was supposed to happen the second time. Everything up to this point is the same. So if you missed an upgrade or want to talk to the crazy fish guy, that's the same as you continue on from here. Things are quite a bit different. Like that guy right there, who is actually wasn't planning on fighting him right now because actually I kind of just wanted to go to the fish scales ah what the hell let's give him one try here I do believe we have to stay very aggressive on this guy or he is going to call in Wolves, I believe. This should be it. We are so close to uh, we're so close to level here. This is kind of scary. give it any XP at all. I kind of don't want to fight that guy yet. It's gonna wait for the next episode, but I would like to jump down here. Whoa. I don't even bother with this. These are incredibly bad for farming. Let's head into the game. Okay. Let's hit the water tank real quick. Here, There's a guy here, isn't there? Where's the guy? Just want to see the fish guy. I have scales. Now what do you sell? Floating message text. Compendium of the combat art floating passage text. Divine grass is fine with it. Red gourd. This reduces burn buildup. On these attacks in a flowing dance like form overwhelming in reason for a graceful creation this thing belongs to the Ashen Sword School. 
Let's get this. Wait, whoops. Thanks for uh, sharing. Let's see here. Where are the cars? Where are the cars? Got one here already. There should be one more. There it is. Maybe one more on the other side of this bridge. I'm not entirely sure. I cannot swim any further. Alright. That is gonna be it for this episode. Wow, one shot these guys. It's pretty neat. Let's see here. All right. Let's see if this kills him. It does not. But that is gonna be it for this episode. That was just a bunch of lore. That was a bunch of lore, a bunch of talking. But all in all, a pretty good episode. Actually, everything seems to come together now in the in the end. This game might have been very confusing in the beginning. But now the the story and the characters are really getting integrated into each other, which I really love. So uh this is gonna turn into something truly truly beautiful i think but that's it for now so thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you guys next time